so we are here in LR Timelapse and this is the application. We're gonna go down to our time lapse and we're gonna select this one here, the new. And this is basically a um, sequence that I shot in Victoria, British Columbia, and it's of the harbor. So these are all the raw images and what you can see here, these are all the raw images that pop up on the, in the bar here. So first you wanna do is let this load and once that finishes, you're gonna see here, it's gonna be say keyframe, holy grail wizard, save, drag to Lightroom, etc. You wanna work from left and to right. So we're gonna start by clicking select keyframe wizard here, and it's gonna bring up this bar here. And basically what this means is you can select the amount of keyframes you wanna put into your um, Lightroom time-lapse. So we're gonna select three just because um, everything was shot in the day and there's not much change of light. Say if it was a day to nighttime shot or like a daytime to sunset, I would maybe select a bit more just so I can get um, more edits in my uh, keyframes. So we're gonna, select three, we're gonna select three here and we're gonna hit save. So after we hit save, we're gonna let that load and we're gonna drag this to Lightroom. So we're gonna have Lightroom open, which we have in the background. We're gonna drag that and drop that right there. And so now, as you can see, Lightroom is open and it has selected all of our images. We're gonna click import and this is gonna pop up. It's gonna load and all of your images are gonna pop up here in Lightroom. What you wanna do first is you wanna right click and select go to folder in library. It's like that. So now we have selected the folder in the library. Um, next, what you wanna do is you wanna go down to the bottom where it says filter and you wanna actually change this to LRTS keyframe. So click that and that's now only gonna bring up the keyframes that you have selected in the LR time-lapse app, which is the three keyframes that you have made. So now what you wanna do is basically edit your photo. So you're gonna go to develop and you're gonna start editing your photos. I'm gonna do this very roughly because this is just kind of an example, but this is the raw image as you can see and we're just gonna tweak this a bit. So we're gonna lower the blacks, boost the whites up a bit, move the shadows up, move the highlights down, maybe turn the contrast up a bit, and keep the exposure the same. Turn up the temperature a bit to make it a little bit more warmer and uh, maybe the saturation a bit too. So yeah, now that's the first one done. This is super rough as you can see. The next step you wanna do is you want to hold shift and select the second image in the keyframe. So there you go, now you have these two selected. You do not wanna go here and sync. You actually wanna go up to the top where this little script button is and click that and go to where it says LR time-lapse sync keyframe. So we're gonna click that. And what that does basically is it syncs the first photo to the second photo. So now when we click the second photo, you can see it has synced all of its attributes to the image. So first shot and second shot. And that looks pretty close. What you wanna do, the goal for this is basically matching the first shot into the second shot similar so the colors match. Um, it looks pretty good. So now we're gonna tweak this a bit. Maybe we'll turn the exposure up a bit. We'll make it a bit brighter on the second shot and we'll leave it like that. So now we'll do the same thing. We'll hold shift and we'll select the third image and we'll go and we'll click the script again and we'll sync keyframes again here, which now we'll select the third image. The third image here, it is a bit overexposed now. So we'll lower it down. That must've been maybe because the um, sun popped through or something like that. So we'll lower that down a bit and we'll also turn the temperature down a bit because it's a bit yellow. So turn that down and now you can see that image matches nicely with these rest of the three. So after that is done, you wanna select all three of these images and you wanna go up to library and you wanna to go to metadata. So you go to metadata and you go to save metadata to files. So click that, save metadata to files. Yes, we want to. Now we're gonna go back into LR time-lapse and we're going to reload this. So we're gonna hit reload it's gonna take a couple seconds and now you can see here the keyframes have changed a bit. You can see this one has gone up. This one has kind of stayed the same, gone up a bit, and this one's uh, just stayed the same because that's just basically a exposure. So now what you wanna do is click auto transition, let that load a bit, and what that is now doing is creating that gradual line up and then down to what you have corrected in your Lightroom sequence. So after that is done, you wanna hit visual previews. So now this is going, this might take a while, and it's gonna load all of your files and basically create this line, which will basically re-edit all the images that you did uh, the keyframes with. It's gonna um, sync all of the images, the 300 images that I took here. So what that is doing is creating this purple line and gradually syncing the uh, time-lapse together. So this usually takes a couple minutes, so let this load, and then we'll continue on to the next step.
Okay, so now that is complete. And as you can see here in the LR time lapse, you have this pink line that goes across and you can see how it's kind of wavy. It's going up and down, up and down and then jumps up really high here. So when you play it back here, that's kind of what it looks like right now with the color grade on it. But there's a little bit more fine tweaking we could do to this. So like I said here, you have this pink line going up and down and this is what the next step comes in handy for. You can click visual do flicker and basically that helps smooth out that purple line from getting that flickery light in your video. So sometimes you might notice in your time lapse, it's like really light, really dark and going back and forth. So that green line behind the purple line there is basically smoothing it out. So it runs smoothly in a nice motion that it doesn't create that flicker noise. So we're gonna put that to about 20 and we'll apply that. Okay, so now that is complete. As you can see, that purple line is a lot more smooth and gradual than it was before. If you wanna like redefine your um, line again, you can click here and you can go back into Visual to Flickr and you can go to Refine again. So you can go over it as many times as you want to make it as smooth as you want if you're noticing Flickr still in your video. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna skip that step just because it's pretty good. And now the next step is to go back into Lightroom and you have your three keyframes selected here. We're gonna go back down and we're gonna to go to full sequence. So now you have all your images here selected. We're gonna go and we're gonna select all of them, highlight them all, and we're gonna to go to metadata and we're gonna to go to read metadata from files. So do that. Now that's gonna load and that's basically going to read all of the work that we did in, Light in LR time lapse, and it's gonna sync it to the Lightroom images here and just copy it back and forth because these two programs work together. So now that it is selecting and has selected all the images and finished, now what you want to do is basically go ahead and export. So you're still in the library, you can go down to here, you can go to export and this will pop up. When you have the LR time-lapse application download on your computer, you will have this um, function in Lightroom that you can create and it is the LR time-lapse function. So we're gonna select LR time-lapse 4K JPEG 4K and we're gonna save it to the same folder that the images are in. So click OK, and we're gonna select 4K. You can do more, obviously, 8K, 6K, whatever you like, but we're gonna go 4K. So we're gonna export that and let that run, and that's gonna take a couple more minutes, again, depending on how fast your computer is, because, again, we are exporting 297 images. Okay, so now, once this is finished, this will pop up here, and it will be the exporting bar, and as you can see, this is the final sequence and you can tweak little things that you want to select. So we're gonna make it ProRes, we're gonna make it 4K, we're gonna keep it at 29.94 at default and we're gonna have it 422, just high quality and we'll just keep it at high. Um, you can also force it to have 16 by nine. So if you want it already cropped, you can keep it like that, but we are just gonna keep it um, as regular and just crop it in post afterwards. So the last thing is here is you can select the LRT motion blur amount. So this is the amount of motion blur you get through your time lapse, so it makes it look natural. Uh, we're gonna just make it two, just a little bit of motion blur, and we're gonna click render video. So yeah, that is basically how I edit my time lapses using an application called LR Time Lapse. The application is literally game changing. It makes the time lapses look way more high quality and just way better than it does in your built-in time lapse app on Sony or something like that. So. Anyways, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like that, rather it be tutorials, behind the scenes, adventure videos, whatever it is, leave a comment down below and I will try to make something that suits your guys' needs. I hope this video helped you out. I hope you learned something new that you didn't know before. And if you like this video, please give it a like down below, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.